Welcome to our channel. I'm Sarah. And I'm Echo. And we are Recon Reality. Let's organize this chaos. So we just want to start this video out by saying thank you so much to everyone who supported us. Whether you're friends or family, part of our support network, or just somebody who stumbled across our channel randomly. Or somebody who I like rated your phone and I was like, hey, check out this channel. And here, oh look, you're subscribed. Watch our videos. You'll probably enjoy them. Yeah, however you came to find yourself here, we really appreciate your Absolutely. support. Um, you know, whether you're subscribed or liking our videos, um, you know, or just dropping in from time to time to see what we're up to. Thank you so much for the support. So on our last recon, we went somewhere that we'd never been before. We went to the main gate at Area 51 that's out past the black mailbox. So the gate that we went to on our first recon that's only five miles away from the alien and Rachel, the locals call that the back gate. The gate from the black mailbox is the main gate. Little did we know, but now we have learned. Yeah, so we went out there and we could not believe what we ended up finding. Oh my god. <laughs> so we didn't find it, it found us, mm -hmm. which was truly amazing because it seemed like everything that we did on that trip, we were at the right place, at the right time to get these experiences. Yeah, so the first part of the trip was pretty standard. We were on the extraterrestrial highway, we took the turn off, drove, was it about 13 miles? Season? Yeah, that's what they say, yeah, yeah. it's like 13 miles. Yeah, so out like to where the gate is, um, you know, we saw the camo dudes, pretty minimal interaction there as you'll see, you know, but- And we, then there was something. Yes. Yeah, so and it was coming right at us, like <laughs> one single lane, dirt, mm -hmm. gravel, desert road, plants and rocks and and there it was and there's this big dust cloud it was crazy we actually like were leaving the gate we thought that we had seen everything yeah. there was to see and then as echo said it found us it found <laughs> us so make sure to watch until the end of the video to see what this thing was and what exactly <laughs> happened to us while we were out at the gate right it's is insane so be sure to watch our video like our video click subscribe ring the bell for notifications and check out the description box below for the links to our instagram and facebook pages here we go ready so ready let's All right. do it so we were for sure exactly how far we had went we were told after the black mailbox it was like 13 miles um and now we're coming out to something we haven't seen any stop signs we haven't seen Over on the side of the road. Um, we are going to put the camera away for a few moments. Uh, we're 
we're gonna wait and see if he comes around the curve behind us if so we just we don't want any issues uh, we don't want to freak him out too much everybody's on high alert out here with the September 20th event coming along so I'm just gonna pull over to the side to where he can drive by if he wants um, like I said I don't know if he's gonna come back up behind us but we'll just sit here and chill for a few so I said okay we're gonna quit recording but and there's one right there on top of the hill yep. right right by the gate so I'm gonna go ahead and do a Yui here so they know that we want to leave and that we don't want to pass um, the sign. I'll put the car facing out and then we'll get out and just uh, record a bit, alright? Okay guys, so up on top of the hill to our right, are, there were two white trucks, um, camo dudes as everybody calls them, and we were waving, and one started to pull down, and we hadn't brought the camera out, we hadn't taken pictures yet, and we were waving at them, as he drove down, he came to make a right turn to go back into the base, and he waved back at us, like I swear to God, he was not right in front of us, like, he was like, like right in front of us, us, like right there, we'll show you the little road here in a second, <laughs> and yeah, he waved back at us, so, I mean, I don't think they're all so mean they, until you try to cross the line so don't do that right but as long as you yeah. stay respectable this is yeah. from the line and yeah. I mean, we're literally like 15 20 feet right now um we're not like charging it we're not trying to stick our hands over it we're just waving taking a few pictures it says uh it says photography of this area is prohibited with the military um code of what rule it falls under I don't know but it's just kind of like um we don't, we don't want to make anybody mad we don't want our equipment ruined I know tons of vloggers and YouTubes come out here and take pictures and videos all the time so I think as long as we're just respectful and they wave back so I think we're in, yeah. in, in. I think we're good we do have still that one camo dude up on the hill watching us but yeah I mean I feel like another one came out to make sure we weren't a threat and once right. they realized we're just and we parked the, the car area. like this facing out so that you know once I turn around they know we want to leave like we're not here to stay so good stuff alright so, alright we'll flip it there and here it is the gate I mean there's not much to see just the signs and Clearly, don't cross that line, and... Came out do it on the top right hill. Yeah. So, so there it is. Go. And then there's a tower right here in the front. Do you... Oh. Yeah, to the Yeah, left. so there's the tower. Yeah, I'm not for sure what that is, um, but there it is. And then over to our left are two little towers uh, on top of the hills. There's the other one. Yep. And then and there's then there's our camo dude. Yep. There he is. And then I wish yeah, you can see him way back. I know. And yeah, then there's Constantine wire going through like the brush. You can see there just to keep people away from trying to go around the road. There's also a little uh, government um, land survey yeah. sign over here. No survey. Uh, monument. Yep. Please do not disturb. So we're not going to disturb that. But if you look down under the sign, there's something in the ground right there. Probably so that they can hear everything that's going on down here. And obviously, you know, they're recording and listening in. Yep. So, just wanted to share this gate with you guys. It's not a legit gate, um, like the one out at Rachel. But, yeah, pretty cool stuff. waves today. I know, should we follow them? Alright guys, so we just passed the semi on this road and decided to turn around and follow it to see what happens when it gets to the gate or if it turns down a side road, if the camo dudes approach it. We just want to know what's going to happen. But it looked like a fuel truck and again, it doesn't look like there's anywhere else for them to go except to the gate. Yeah. 
back right up by the gate. And is that where the camo dude was? That's where the first swamp was. Yeah, so there's no longer a white truck up on that hill right there where there was when we first pulled up. Maybe that's not the one. No, it's not. Like that's the turn off. But that was the only other place to turn off. And he didn't. So he's clearly going to gate. And he's slowing down. It's bumpy. It is bumpy. And he knows that there's a stop sign up here. He's just being extra cautious. Yeah, he's prepared. And it's curvy. There's an S curve coming up. You know, you know how top heavy he is. <laughs> Here's something kind of awkward though. What? If you look at fuel trucks going down the road, um, the bottoms of them don't sag that much. So see where the bottom of the truck is actually tilting down. Yeah. And the top of the truck is up higher. Yeah, it's so pretty it significant. It looks like a fuel truck, but at the same time, there could be something in that tanker that's much more dense. Like rocket fuel? I mean, I don't think JPA does that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. But at the same time, it's like something to think about. Like, there could literally be any type of anything in that truck right now going to the gate of Area 50. That's true, because, I mean, we see a fuel truck and, like, oh, of course, they have fuel tankers brought in. Like, it makes total sense. But yeah, that's the perfect cover really for anything. Sagging. This one's really sagging a lot on the back. I, I gotta admit, it was an older truck, but I was curious to know exactly what's in this truck. And I'll never know. That's the crazy part. Nobody will ever know except for those guys and people on the other side of the line. I mean, I wonder if the guy driving the truck even knows what's in the truck. He probably thinks it's fuel. And it could just be fuel. <laughs> is right where we left him. Yep, he's still in the same spot. He sees the truck coming. I'm sure he sees us as well.
go down here. That's where we went through earlier to go to the gate. We're super close. And this truck's going in. We don't know if they're gonna stop him first. We don't know if there's more camping dudes down here. So we're just taking it slow. White trucks, white dust. There's the gate. Yep. All right, guys. There's the gate. There goes the fuel truck. And he is just plowing right yep. here, you guys. Yep, he's, he's not just stopping. Going for it. Not stopping. Nobody else. No credential check. Ah, oh, I can't hardly see. Damn. Anything. There's Camo Dude Top Hill on the right. Yep. Yep. Top of the hill on the right. There he is. There he is. Turn around like we did before. So go around right and there. And yeah, he is gone. And there goes our field truck. Here. Oh. Sorry. You're fine. Okay, yeah, he's. There he goes. Into Area 51. Just went straight through the gate. Yep. That is a traffic violation. He didn't even stop. <laughs> we should report him. Camo dude's still yep. up there. Camo dude is contently chilling on his hill, doing what yeah. he does. Alright, so detour back to the gate to follow the field truck. Now we're leaving the Area 51 gate. <laughs> Unless we see someone else coming. Right, that looks like a field truck or something important. Oh my god, guys, can you believe that we actually <laughs> saw that? It was it was crazy in real life. That was like, insane. Like we have never ever seen mm -hmm. any footage of any like vehicles other, other than, than white trucks. trucks. Right. White buses. Just blowing through the gate. Anything white. <laughs> That fuel truck was not white, and here's my thing: was it actually fuel in the truck? Because yeah. when we were behind it, um, there was it was sagging so low in the back. Was mm -hmm. it just an, the fact it was an older truck? Was right. something else just because not the road was so bumpy? Was like, it what? something else that was far more dense than fuel in the yeah. in that tank? Yeah, it was weird. Like it did not look like no. any other fuel truck that we've seen before. No, so, and whatever that's worth. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was insane. Absolutely. And here's the other thing. So I got to thinking about it, and whenever we were following this truck, because it was a hot minute, we were following it. Oh yeah, at least yeah. a good five miles. Miles, and if not more. And we were gonna play all of that for you because we're literally just driving behind this truck with tons of dirt. You, I mean, you can't like, even see the truck at some points, but right. I mean, it was yeah, it was there, and we got it all. So we consolidated that down for you guys, and then I got to thinking, are they gonna stop this truck at the gate? Are they gonna check mm -hmm. for credentials? Are they gonna look at IDs? Like, right, we were waiting for like four or five camo dude trucks right. to be sitting there waiting, or at least to cut us off, and they just let us follow right behind that truck all up the way the up. Gate. Yep, and so that means that from that gate, I would assume that from there to the base, that there has to be some other type of checkpoint for those types of trucks. Yeah, and they must be waiting for that driver, like radioing, radioing them <laughs> in. Like, yeah, we, I mean, we don't know, but yeah. like, how does that work? Apparently, if you just want to drive into Area 51 and blow through the gate, just hijack a fuel truck. Get a fuel truck. Right through. Absolutely. Yeah. So, anyway, we hope that you enjoyed our video. <laughs> our crazy adventure. Right. The it, gate. Absolutely. So. <laughs> and if you are planning on going out there, please do be careful. Don't hijack a fuel truck. No, don't cross the line. Don't, don't harass the camo guys too bad. Too badly. Yeah. We waved. Yeah, a they little bit back. of entertainment. I'm sure they appreciate it. Absolutely. It must get monotonous. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we hope you enjoyed our footage and our adventure out there at the gate. And like we said before, be sure to subscribe and like this video. We appreciate all the support so much, guys. Yeah, all right. Take care. And this is Recon Reality. We're out of here. Bye, Bye. guys.